Hello, welcome to JSTU. Today we are going to see about how to compose Landsat images in uh, PanSharp Ring with panchromatic images uh, step by step using ArcMap ArcGIS. So, firstly, we are going to open ArcMap. I have already opened ArcMap and then I will add the target uh, bands of uh, Landsat 8. So let me go to our data, then go to your folder where you put your data. So uh, let me add my own data. Is, uh, this is Landsat uh, 2020, is, uh, which was downloaded in 2020, or the data that is acquired from USGS in 2020 uh, years. So let me add from band 2 out to band 7. Band 1 is not uh, important or not useful because it is used to detect uh, aerosols. Aerosols, which is uh, distributing the, the environment. So for this purpose, uh, and for future purpose also, I would not use or uh, it is not functional for my uh, further analysis. So let me add, uh, starting from band 2, band 3, band 4, Band 5, Band 6, Band 6, and then Band 7. As you can see here, in the layer panel, Band 2, Band 3, Band 4, uh, Band 5, Band 6, and Band 7 of Landsat 8. So you can see here the information. 169053, this is the path, and 053 is a row which is used to download from the USGS. So my area of interest is found in the path of 169 and the row of uh, 0, uh, 053. So this is the date 2020 03 that means it is in the years of 2020 and uh, the third month of uh, 30 days. So all uh, the band information you can get just like this. The next step is that uh, combining all these bands. This is the individual bands for so for further process or for further analysis and the classification of uh, land to land cover and uh, another in, uh, another vegetation indices such as in it way. Um, you you have to stack together or you have to combine together these uh, bands. So in order to combine, in order to combine or in order to compose it, these seven bands, just go to uh, this Arc Toolbox, click on Arc Toolbox, just go to Data Management Tools, then Raster, because this is a raster data, so our focus is only on the raster uh, toolboxes. So as you can see here, there are various options here, so just directly go to raster processing and expand this uh, plus sign. After expanding this plus sign, you will get composite bands. Then double click on composite bands. Then the input raster. So the input raster must be this uh, uh, seven bands. So select band two. Then band 3, then uh, select band 4, then select band 5, then select band 6, and then uh, select band 7. The output raster means the path or the folder where you, are, you, you will put your output result. In my case, let me accept the default, the default folder and just click. Okay, then composite band is running. It takes some time for computing. So great, now composite bands have been successfully computed. As you can see here, uh, the single band raster is already created from multiple bands. So let me and check all other uh, bands, all other bands, and let me check the composite one. Let me uncheck all of this. 
all of these parts. Okay, great. So this is this is uh, the composite parts as you can see here. So this is the composite parts. The composite parts. For example, let me show you the. Uh, as you can see, Landsat 8 operational land in major only and the thermal infrared sensor. So to have uh, all the informations of band 8, you can uh, see this uh, band designations and band descriptions. So image consists of nine spectral bands with spatial resolution 30 meters. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, spatial resolution band 9 is used for serious cloud detection. Uh, the resolution of band uh, 8 or panchromatic is 15 meters, which is used for pan sharpening. That is uh, to decrease, uh, to increase the resolution of images and to better visualize uh, features on the uh, Landsat image. For example, to identify natural color, for 32, false color, R1. Seven, uh, six, four, and uh, color for, for for example to all identify agriculture now six five two or you can interchange for example uh, let us uh, four okay three okay and two. This is a false color composite. This is uh, uh, the re the radar one is uh, vegetation and associated plants, which is uh, which absorbs uh, uh, infrared uh, portion of the spectrum. Yes, and uh, you can easily identify uh, these uh, green areas. These green areas. So. Let me rename this as composite composite. This is composite and let us see the properties and the resolutions of this image, this composite image. So as you can see, it's 30 meter by 30 meter. So now let us go to the uh, let us pan sharpen this image. Let us pan sharpen this image. If you zoom in, uh, if you zoom in, uh, you can. Uh, it is something difficult to identify features. Each features uh, found in uh, the surface. So, pan sharpening is used to increase uh, the spatial resolution of images and consequently to uh, easily identify features which is found on the other surface so that is uh, major goals and purposes of pan sharpening so let us go to our toolbox again and go, go to data management tools then go to raster then go to raster processing then uh, double click on current pan sharpen raster data set Yes, so uh, the input raster must be the composite image. The composite image, uh, so uh, remain uh, other things as it is, and pan chromatic image must be band. Uh, okay, there is no band 8, so let me first add band 8 to this. This is band 8. Band, band eight. Yes. So create partial print image. So this is the input raster must be the composite image. Uh, remain as it is. Okay. So the band chromatic image is uh, band eight. So. This is pan sharpening type. Yes, you can see pan sharp type. This is the algorithm to fuse or fuse the panchromatic and the multispectral bands together.
that is a bulk chromatic image and the composite one is a multispectral image. So uh, there are different algorithms to uh, compute this uh, pan, sharpening, uh, pan sharpening processing. And for this purpose, uh, just uh, select this gram squid uh, uses the gram squid spectral sharpening algorithm for uh, sharpening multispectral uh, data. So, what uh, type of algorithm it is going to use? The spectral based algorithm. So, select this algorithm, the, the gram smart data algorithm. So, go to So select the sensor to Landsat, 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 Landsat 8, so, so just click the output raster data set means the place where you, the place or the folder or the path where you want to save your output results. So uh, as I did it I will just accept the default folder path and click OK. So pan sharpening processing is running. So let us wait the results. It takes some time. So pan sharpening has been pan sharpening has been uh, computed successfully. So as you can see here. Okay, great, 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 great job has been done. So let me, uh, for example, uh, let, this is pan sharpened image. Yes, let me check the, uh, the properties. As you remember earlier, this composite image were 30 by 30 meters. Now it becomes 15 by 15 meters. Pan sharp. image yeah pan sharpened image this is pan sharpened image so now let me add my study area my study area okay yes zoom to layer this is my study area. Yeah, this is my study area, and I can extract or clip by mask. So, by using ArcMap or by using ArcGIS ArcMap, you can uh, composite images, uh, pan sharpened images uh, for easily visualization and further classification and analysis, and you can clip out your study area easily. So this is what we have today. If you are new to this YouTube channel, you can uh, comment, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.